I believe that I figured it out. Now, if you saw my last video, you know that I have question as to why Sonic the Hedgehog has never collabed with the Sonic Drive-In or the restaurant, if you're more familiar with that. And a lot of you guys agreed and even gave me some insight to this dilemma. Now, I plunged myself into the deep holes of the internet, which are Twitter and Reddit, to attempt to uncover this mystery. And I came up with a couple of results which are not 100% true or backed up by any research. But it is the best thing that I could come up with in like, what, two, three days of research? Now, starting off with what I believe is a recurring theme that I saw like three times was that in 2006, the Sonic Drive-In actually saw sales drop. And I'm not really sure because I saw a different thing in every single like Reddit, Twitter post that I saw. But apparently Sonic commented something about him eating a bad chili dog from a drive-in and that caused the, the drop in sales. And I saw like... It was kind of like the same thing, but it wasn't. But essentially, apparently Sonic the Hedgehog dropped the the Sonic Drive-In customer count by like a lot. And they have like had a grudge on the, I don't know, man. And like I said, I tried to find like statistics to back this up or articles and I couldn't find anything. So take that with a grain of salt. And another, another reason that I saw that the Sonic Drive-In doesn't want to be associated with the Sonic the Hedgehog brand. And it could be a couple of reasons, starting with that people can see like this like sonic the hedgehog as the mascot of the sonic brand which is what i i believe a lot of people actually thought the same thing as i did i thought sonic was the mascot for that restaurant i thought that was a sonic themed restaurant because it had chili dogs onion rings you know all that and when i found that i was like how they literally have like the same logo not same logo but like the same color scheme i guess uh but as you guys know sonic is definitely not the mascot for sonic the restaurant and also, it could come from a standpoint where Sega might have asked for a lot of money. And if they have talked about this in the past, they could ask for a lot of money. And since the Sonic restaurant isn't as mainstream as the other restaurants that Sonic has collabed with, such as like McDonald's, Burger King, Jack in the Box, Hooters, yes, Hooters has collabed with Sonic. They even sold chili dogs, which is really cool. But still, are you serious? Hooters. Like... <laughs> Also, another thing is if you guys are familiar with Popeye's the chicken place and you guys are also familiar with Popeye and he was actually like a television character similar to Sonic, not really sim like the same, but like there were both like, you know, cartoons, but basically Popeye chicken sandwich collab with Popeye the cartoon. And you know what the best part about it is the Popeye character is one to say like eat your vegetables and you'll get big and strong as me and Popeye sells chicken. But here we are with Sonic and Sonic not collabing when the stars are quite literally aligned. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, I'm done ranting about this. Um, if you guys are curious, this is the cat. Oh my god, are you dead? He's not dead. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting about this before my head starts to blow up. Uh, but let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. And also, any reasons in, or any information as to why they haven't collabed because I'm actually very curious. And the research I did, I feel like it's not enough. I need an answer from Sega or Sonic Drive-In. <laughs> Until then, I am not satisfied. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.